Hello, this is Bullet, aka the Passive Aggressive Sherpa. In today's video, we're going to quickly look at the Broken Awoke Talisman quest step. This drops after the Forsaken campaign, but you'll first need to see Zavala. He will ramble on a bit, trying to justify his cowardice. Then you'll have to speak to Ikora and she'll wax rhapsodic about Cade, at least for a little while, and then she'll give you a Cade class item. Then you'll need to head back to the reef and speak to Petra. Then she'll give you the first step in the quest for the Broken Awoke Talisman. And that quest is to take about three steps to your left and talk to Spider for no apparent reason. But he hands over the next part of the quest that ends in you being allowed to access the Dreaming City. The Broken Awoke Talisman quest is pretty simple once you know what you have to do and where you need to go. In a nutshell, you just need to loot three lost sectors. So in this video, I will be showing you where they are. And a little bit of a side note here. I'm showing you these on my third character, my warlock, Julia. And what I found interesting about this is that this was the third time I had to do this, this quest, but it was the first time I found a dead ghost while completing the quest. It was in one of the lost sectors. I had run over this ghost several times in the past couple of weeks, never saw it until looting the lost sector this time. My point being, I was almost bored having to do this all again for the third time. But since the drop of Forsaken, I have really enjoyed that there has always been something else to find along the way. Anyways, moving on. The first step in the quest in an old Corsair hideout. This lost sector is in Jetsam of Saturn. It's just under the huge crashed ship. Follow my path and I'll take you right to it. The next step in the quest, in the heart of Spider's Web. This lost sector location is just to the right of Spider's location. So you're gonna wanna fast track back to Thieves Landing and just follow my path. This one can be a little confusing. Anyways, follow my path. Now the reason uh, this can be a little confusing is because when you're in one of the sectors or when you're in one of these rooms, there's a shielded door. And after you clear all the ads, that door unlocks. And so you're gonna think, oh, I, I've killed the boss. I need to go through that door to get to the chest. I'm sure that door opens for a reason. I haven't taken the time to figure it out, but that room is not the way you need to go. You need to go past the area where you've killed the boss and to the right, there'll be another door that leads you into the room with the chest as you'll see. We'll kind of fast forward it until we get to that point and then I'll slow it down so you can see the chest's location.
All right, the last step in this part of the quest is in a rare green place. Here, you're gonna wanna go to Thieves Landing and then take the turbo lift towards the top right of the map up to Four Horn Gulch. Just follow my path and I'll take you there. There's nothing too complicated about this particular lost sector. My only comments are that there are a lot of ads that you can just run past. So if you like killing things, there's lots to kill. But if you are just trying to get this quest done, you can run past most of the ads. And if you're a high enough power, you can wipe out the boss with a few shots of the sleeper simulant. All right, that's about it for this video. I'll let the rest of the lost sector play out in two times the speed just to save you a little time. Time, in case you need to know, uh, you want to see what, what to expect in this lost sector. Remember, if you liked this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's always appreciated. And if we could get 1,187 likes on this video, that'd be great. But most of all, thanks for watching.